in that Nathan Hale championship year, like you mentioned, under Brandon Roy, how much did you learn from him? And what do you think your brother took from B. Roy as well? Right. I, man, that was like the best year for my, my game and my uh, growth as a player. I think Michael's too. It was just one, you get over that starstruck phase. I like guess Brandon Roy, one of the best, you know. <laughs> that must have been crazy. Crazy, right? So <laughs> him there every day in practice. Sometimes he'd hoop with us. It's just like, wow, we're really in a room with a legend, just getting better. So it was a really special year, and uh, he just poured his knowledge into us. Like I said, Michael gave me confidence. I think Brandon Roy gave both of us and the rest of our team just utmost confidence, told us what we needed to hear. He was really a player's coach. So um, that was probably the most fun basketball I've ever played just because we had that guy coaching us just with our team and uh, going out and beating everybody by 40. It was just a blast. <laughs> And, I mean, we all know Brandon Roy retired when he was so young due to all those injuries. And, you know, you were in high school three years ago. B. Roy was only 33 years old. So him yeah. hooping with you, did you see glimpses of his former self just not missing? For sure, yeah. It would just be like a battle between – we'd always put Michael and him on other teams. And, uh, you know, we'd all just fill our roles. But sometimes they just go back and forth, just kind of like Jamal Murray and Donovan Mitchell were last night, just going back and forth, hitting threes. And uh, you saw that, but then eventually we were, you know, young legs running up and down. Brandon would get tired and, you know, <laughs> pull a hammy or something. So his old self definitely pulled or showed out at some times, but you could definitely tell he still got it. And uh, it really is too bad that his career got cut short because I really think he could have been one of the greats. And would you ask him about his career and maybe like players he matched up against? Because Kobe called him his toughest matchup ever. He often talked about that and just told us stories and stuff often raved about Kobe just like Kobe did him. So that was also one of the special elements of having him as a coach is you hear all these inside stories that never make the news uh, just about, you know, battles or teammate scuffles, whatever the case may be. It was just cool to have an NBA player that played so long and knew all these legends kind of pour into us with his knowledge and his game. <laughs>